So what are the best dry eye drops? Well, in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing my three favorite eye drops that can help relieve even the most severe dry, itchy eyes. So let's take a look. Hey everyone, welcome. I'm Dr. Joseph Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, the channel that helps you with the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Also, at any point throughout the video, check out the show notes and links below for further information about everything that we go over, including pricing as well as active ingredients of all the different eye drops that we cover. Now, if you are like most individuals, including myself, you've probably already tried four or five different artificial tears with very little success. And in fact, if you go to the pharmacy, you're probably overwhelmed by the complete just experience expansion of how many different tiers there are on the market. There's, you know, there's pink ones, there's blue ones, there's green ones, and how are you supposed to know which one is the best for you? So now let's go over my three best dry eye drops that don't address just one part of the tear film, but address all layers of the tear film. Now the first tier I want to review is Refresh Optive Advanced. Now again, the reason I love Refresh Optive Advanced is because it replenishes all three layers of the tear film. It helps replenish the lipid layer, the front surface of the tears, helps with preventing the evaporation of the tears. You helps really replenish the aqueous component, the watery component of the tear film, and then it helps protect the mucin component of the tear film. That's the back portion of the tear film uh, that helps keep the liquid portion of the tears attached to the ocular surface. Now, this drop, again, excellent, works for most people really well, doesn't really blur your vision at all. This medication does come in a larger kind of dropperette bottle, and it's safe to use multiple times a day. However, if you're somebody who's either very sensitive to preservatives, or if you've maybe had some sort of eye surgery, such as either cataract surgery or LASIK, you're often using many different eye drops after those sort of procedures. And all those different eye drops, antibiotics, steroids, uh, those medications have preservatives in them. So if you're using artificial tears on top of that, it's better to go to a non-preserved artificial tear. And that's one of the other reasons I like Refresh Optive Advanced is because they have a non-preserved formulation. If you've never seen one of these, they come in these little individual dropperettes, which are actually pretty convenient. You can store them either in your pocket, a purse, uh, or a backpack, but you just twist off the top. If you've never used one before, you twist off the top, you go ahead and put the drops in, and then after using them, you can actually go ahead and try to recap the solution. And you can do that because they actually give you a little bit more than just one drop for each eye. And if you can do that, you can save it for maybe an hour or two and use it again later. And again, when you have non-preserved drops, there's no limit to how many you can use. Feel free to use them as many times as you need to throughout the day. Again, the Refresh Optive Advance, I love because it has those benefits of treating all layers of the tear film and it has a non-preserved option. Now let's go over the Sistain brand of eye drops. Now, Sistain has been out for a long time. It's a famous name. A lot of eye doctors strongly recommend them, and that's because they are the, made by the Alcon company who's always doing research and trying to improve their products. Now, uh, Sistain Ultra has been out for a long time. That really, per, really addresses the aqueous form of dry eye disease. Then they had Sistain Balance, and that one is more for addressing the evaporative component of dry eye disease. But recently they came out with Sistain Complete. And Sistain Complete, again, addresses all three layers of the tear film. But it also has uh, what's called nano drop technology, which really helps adhere the solution to the surface of the eye and the effectiveness of the, the active ingredient in protecting the surface of the eye. Now, again, this medication is excellent. If you've been recommended by your doctor to use Sustain products, then perhaps check out Sustain Complete. However, the only downside I find with Sustain Complete is that you know, at the timing of this video, they do not have a non-preserved option. So you're only gonna find them in the larger bottles and you maybe don't wanna use it more than four times a day. Now the final drop I want to review is made by the OcuSoft company and that's called Retain MGD. Now Retain MGD, MGD stands for meibomian gland disease or meibomian gland dysfunction. And again, those are those oil glands that produce the lipid layer of your tears. So if you've seen your doctor and you've been told, hey, you have evaporative dry eye disease, you have meibomian gland disease, uh, then this would probably be one of the best drops for you to try because it does address 
the all three layers of the tear film, but it has a strong emphasis on restoring that meibomian gland lipid layer of the tears. Uh, in fact, it's such a so so geared for it that it actually has its main two active ingredients are mineral oil and light mineral oil. So it is a little bit a little bit more sticky I find when I'm using it on my eyes, but it does help prevent the evaporation of those tears. In addition, this drop has what's called positively charged uh, nano droplets. So because the cornea is actually a negatively charged structure, by having positively charged drops, they actually help adhere to the surface of the eye a little bit better as well. Now, what's really cool is that this Retain MGD also comes in a non-preserved dropperette, uh, which again, I really love because you can use it as many times a day as you need to. The only real thing I wanted to kind of point out to people is that if you look at it, it's kind of a milky color. It really does kind of look like milk in that dropperette. And that's not that it has been either infected or that somehow gone bad or anything like that. I've actually had people come into the clinic and say, hey, I bought this whole box, but I think they've gone bad. They're all off the kind of like a milk white color. Nope, that is normal for this type of eye drop. This artificial tear just comes in this kind of milky white color. So again, that's normal, but again, an excellent option if you're having bad dry eye issues. Again, all these different eye drops are fantastic. Uh, certainly, if you haven't tried them, give them a try. Uh, you know, if you want to check out other pricing information or other active ingredients, I've hooked up some additional information and in all the links below. Of course, talk to your eye doctor. Make sure you ask them more questions about what type of dry eye disease you have and what type of treatment they recommend for you. Because there's a lot more to dry eyes than just artificial tears. Uh, perhaps if you're someone who doesn't like using eye drops, you have a hard time getting them in, then perhaps check out natural ways to treat dry eye. I actually have another video on natural treatments for dry eyes and hook that up here in the YouTube card up above as well as in the description below. So eye health question of the day, which eye drops are you using? Have you tried any in this video? Which ones are your favorites? Go ahead and comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and go ahead and share this video with any friends or family or anyone you think it might help. If you'd like to catch other cool videos from Dr. Eye Health, I'll go ahead and hook you up with another link up here to the side, or go ahead and click or tap the screen just down here. Otherwise, again, this is, again, Dr. Joseph Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, helping you with the eyes, vision, and best vision products. Keep an eye on it, and we'll talk to you soon. Can you even see the cartonry just getting glare? <laughs> Can't get it back on. Okay, there we go.